Hello, in this video, I'm going to talk you through a class critique of your work. What you can see here is a standard slides that we're going to use to record the critique. When you fill your slides, make sure that you write your name in the green box. So here and uh, update whatever screenshots or photos of the work you're going to talk about. You will present your work to students and while that's happening, you will have a discussion with those students and they're going to ask questions and you're going to respond to the questions and it's going to be whole mini talk. As an owner of the artwork, it's your responsibility to fill the comments that you get from the group. Use bullet points. You don't have to use full sentences. This usually is going to end up as an entry in your digital sketchbook. When you talk about visual art work, your drawings or your paintings, this is what are the common questions that you can use to help in the critique. If we're talking about a work that is realistic, do the objects look pretty? Uh, are the ellipse and diamonds being done properly? Do are the correct curves and angles on the object so they look real? Do they look realistic? Is there enough detail drawn so the objects are drawn realistically? Is the background drawn? Does it have depth? Do objects look flat? Is there a good range of value? In other words, is the tone differentiated? Do you have enough blacks, whites, and grays? How about the composition? Is there an empty space? Is the space interesting in the whole work? Is there a glow around the objects, like a background that wasn't drawn properly close to the objects? And is the work photographed in a really good way? Here is an example of the student's work. This slide is now claimed by the student one. There should be a discussion here where a group or an instructor is going to give comments about this work. So while the comments are happening, it's really important for you to pick up and start getting some notes and uh, some details about what's been said about the work, both positive and negative. While we're critiquing the work, it's really important to highlight both positives and negative things about this work. So the people know, the owner of the work knows what are the areas that they are already good at and what are the areas that they should improve. Here's an example of how a complete slide could look like. As you can see, bullet points being used to record, so you don't have to use proper full sentences, but the most important ideas and information should be recorded on the slide. So let's have a look. This is a really good drawing. The objects look 3D and that's been noticed as a positive. And the objects look realistic. You can feel the velvet in the box with the key and the key looks very real. However, the candle is leaning a bit, so maybe the angles of how the object was drawn could be improved a bit. So positive and negative. Lovely details on the background and the foreground. That's another positive. There is a good range of value. There's very good richness in blacks and in greys. However, I feel that the image is generally quite dark. There could be a bit more light in the work, so that's something that could be improved. Composition could be better. Those objects are very close to the left and here there's nothing interesting. So if everything was shifted slightly to the right, that would be much better composition. I don't see any glow around the objects. All of the background, it's drawn really nicely around all of the objects. So that's really good. And the photograph is done in a nice way. It definitely been edited. I don't see any backgrounds. Image is not crooked and it's well lit evenly. There is no shadows. So that's another positive. This is it. This is how to make a critique and how to record the critique on the slides. Thank you very much.